I just want to show you the other side. So I put the cardboard. And the reader it is. I'm going to push it over this way. We can actually lean on it and keep it in there. So that way when you're in here with your wrench, slide over the best you can. So you got to get on down in here somehow. <laughs> somehow. It's actually a little different now because now it's not right here. So I'm going to have to get down in here somehow. Tighten this bottom one up. Can't really get in here to show you. Oh, really. Right down there. Trying to see it. Trying to go down there. Before I was in here, I would have been smashing into this, but I want to protect all these fins because they get dented so easily. So I'm going to put that one on. I'm going to put this one on. I'm going to put the. Actually, actually I'm going to put that bottom on. I'm going to put that hose on. Drain some more fluid out of that hose. Put that on, or I'll put this one on, I'll go back to the other side, and I'll put the other top hose on, and then I'll come back to show you how to finally button it. Alright, I got everything buttoned up now. So everything's back on, tightened up. I don't have the top piece off left that off, so you guys can see. It's basically just reconnect everything that you disconnected. And I suggest when you're tightening those up, don't use a screwdriver. Go get a socket wrench. I think that was eight millimeters. Use what they use. Or pretty sure that's what I use. I don't have it here now. But tighten those up. That's for the holes, the big holes. Tighten those up with a wrench, or you'd be sorry. You never get them tight enough with a screwdriver. It always end up leaking. But anyway, so new ones looks like. See, look at that. Even it came with a dent. It's horrible. So all I gotta do is put the top piece on, no battery tray, air filter, and be good to go. So I can just kind of sit here, and I guess you guys can watch that process. If not, you know, <laughs> thanks for watching. But other than that, I'm just gonna throw this last piece on there. And you can see how I did that. <clears throat> I was actually keeping the car to probably wash this again. But actually, it's pretty, it's pretty clean from the last time I did it. I also want to make sure you don't dent the crap out of your radio at this point either. Because it is a tight fit. I mean, it's not going to kill your radio if you bend some fins, but. Fins are there for cooling purposes. The more you bend, the less efficient it will be. So just keep that in mind. You'll see the rubber pieces on here going to line up with the top of your radiator. I'm going to hug that right here and look at the see that. I'm going to hug this in here. Get little rubber pieces on each side of the radiator so you know when you got it in the right spot. All you got to do is just line up the bottoms. And you're gonna, when you bolt them together, it'll, it'll pull it together. I always put the screws in here first. Actually, not sitting where that one was. This weight is actually sitting to the left. So, have to make sure I'm going to put this in here. That fan is not going to hit. Do it justice. I think it's going to. Make sure I'm actually sitting in that hole still. Okay. 
Oh, my battery actually died before I knew it. So, probably got it back together now. <clears throat> um, I don't know how much I got far into that video, but uh, this radiator actually was a little bit taller than the original. So when I put it in there, it just kind of didn't sit right. I actually kind of push it off to the right and get it in there. But it's in there fine. Nothing wrong with it. Everything's, uh, you know, nothing hitting. Fan's fine. So we're gonna roll with that. <clears throat> Should be fine. I'm gonna obviously put all my stuff back together here. Back in the car. Battery, button it all back up. Make sure you connect all your connectors that you took off. And um, you know, top off your fluids because you lost a little bit. I would just wait on the transmission fluid to kind of let it run. Check it when it's hot. And I also recommend you get some of uh, this antifreeze, not car quest, but um, the one that says add water. So basically, this thing costs like $13. I think the ones with, they say it's 50 50, cost uh, like 10. I think this is like 11, or the other one's like 9. It's like a couple dollars difference. But the difference here, get the add water one it does not say 50 50 anywhere you see it does not get the add water that means you can take half of this put it into another container then fill it all the way up with water you have one you have two you got two forms of person one I don't know just uh, lazy people just don't do that <laughs> or maybe on a road I can understand you know you need to get some you don't have water that's fine but if you're in a garage you know don't be lazy Grab the one, make two. I get water from your faucet. Ain't gonna kill nothing. So, anyways, that's that. It was a pain in the butt to get those uh, screws back in, just because of the way that radiator was sitting. But it looks exactly like the other one. Uh, you know, manufacturers. What are you gonna do? <laughs> just like car makers, they make stuff the way the hell they want to, and usually never fits right. So, um. I'm gonna button this back up. I'll throw some uh, antifreeze, you know, obviously you're gonna put the antifreeze in here. Just fill it up. Make sure you put enough in there until you see they come up to the top. You know, sometimes you can squeeze the hoses, squeeze this hose here, squeeze the bottom hose, or get the air out of it. Leave the cover off when you're doing it, get the air out. And sometimes I'll actually um, run it for a few minutes when I first started up with the cover off. That way the air escapes, you know. Obviously if you see it you know, rising, put the cover on real quick. It's not gonna be hot. It takes a quite a quite a bit of while. Good uh, you know, ten minutes even get hot. So not to worry about that. Something you can add the coolant right in there. If you see it, you see it bubbling up, it's gotta, you know, fill up the airs. But leave it off for a minute and let it run. And now I hope you enjoyed my video. Hope you learned something or got something out of it. Oh, hey, laugh at my mistakes. I could care less. You know, like it, share it. I appreciate anything you guys do like that. See you later.